did a series of interviews on the radio about how toxic the world is and the number of toxins that we're absorbing even into our bodies, between air pollution, between foods, between so many different things. And in fact, there's a stat that I read that we have, by nine o'clock in the morning, the average woman has 126 different chemicals that are in our body. And you and I have talked about it. So yeah. can you comment on that? Sure. Um, you know, in this world, I don't think we're going to be able to ask women to stop using their beauty products. Mm -hmm. We all love our beauty products, and, and they serve a function. And so what's important for us as consumers is to really take a good look at those products that we're using, um, to read the labels and make sure that we don't have certain harmful chemicals in those products. These toxins can interfere with our metabolism. Well, that's a big motivation for me. I certainly don't need any more, um, you know, fuel in right. uh, my battle of the against um, weight gain as I get mm -hmm. older. And they can also interfere with your um, blood sugar. Um, there's so many ways, and they can be A lot of them causing. are cancer causing. Cancer right. causing, yes. which is, you know, alarming. Right. So to me, it's not that I'm going to stop using my beauty products, but I'm going to be really thoughtful about the products that I choose. I'm going to read those labels and make sure that I'm using products that are fragrance-free, that are artificial color-free, and free of um, phthalates, and there's this whole long list, which, you know, I know that you do the work for us here, and you take a look at those products and create a list of safe products for us to use. Well, and some of them, let's talk about just run down the list because, yeah. again, those labels, you have to read every label and even the products that you think are healthy that have this grand cachet of, of good for you right. and yet they have parabens in it, they have phthalates in it. Right. What are a couple of the other big ones that people should be on the lookout for? Um, believe it or not, petroleum. Mm -hmm. So, so many skincare products and personal care products are made from petroleum, and petroleum is not good for our bodies. Um, urea is another one, um, artificial colors and fragrances, mm -hmm. as I mentioned. Right. So, um, it's really these preservatives and these plasticizers. So, things that are in the products that you kind of make them um, softer, gives them be better texture, and those would be those phthalates. You know, with a paraben, there can be a list of five different parabens in just one product. So a person doesn't have to memorize methyl, ethyl, parabutyl, paraben, but just know if it ends in paraben, it's probably a bad thing. Right. And again, these things can, among other things, they're finding increasing amounts of research that they can cause cancer. So it's yes. critical for people to be aware. And breast cancer in particular, so yes. big concern. Great. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome.